dear Otis. You know I hate sloppy romantic stuff, so don't get your hopes up. This isn't a love letter. You're a complete moron! When we first met, I didn't trust anyone. I thought that if I kept everybody out, I'd stop myself from being hurt or let down. Anyway, I don't do boyfriends. Which is what I was used to. What's wrong with boyfriends? Then we set the clinic up together and I realised that... I'm in! Most of the people who came to us for help really just needed connections. Just someone else let you down, isn't it? And maybe I wasn't so different. The students at the school need your help, Otis. You have the rare ability to make people feel truly seen. And you did the same for me. Now I'm holding your hand. Hi. It was this and your relentless optimism about human beings that gave me the courage to start opening myself up to other people. At you, but For the first time in my life, I didn't feel alone. How did we go? It shouldn't matter what anyone in the school thinks. You're an amazing writer. Which allowed me to imagine something bigger for myself. You are who you are. Don't let anyone take that away from you. Because neither are going anywhere. You should work with what you've got. And how did we go? And I want you to know that however much it fucking hurts that we can't be together, I won't ever close myself off again. You waited? Of course. Nice flowers for me. <sighs> yeah. Sorry. Um... Otis? Hi, Maeve. I didn't realise you and Jackson were... No, it's cool. Well, he's not my boyfriend or anything, we're just sleeping together. Maeve, I'm so sorry that I hurt you and betrayed your trust. Fuck you. You saw something in me when no one else I just want to be a guy in the corner that no one knows. Invisible guy in the corner. And I thought I liked being that way. Then I met you, and I figured out I'm actually good at something. I hope you can forgive me, and that we can keep doing the clinic together. You're the smartest person I've ever met, and this award is yours. Don't go, actually. Please. There's someone called Maeve, and she's really important to me. Nice t-shirt. <laughs> I think she's my person. Do you want to do something later? I'm scared. Do you mean a day? Meeting you cracked my heart open, and now it's forever changed. And because of that, I will carry part of you with me wherever I go. Oh, sweetheart, I don't know if any of us understand much of that now. Maeve! We just know we feel it when we feel it. And how did we go? No, I can't wait to meet her. Hello, May. I really want to get to know you. What did it say? I think I'm going back to America. Voicemail. Are you saying you don't know if you'd come back? I could still make it work, though. It's always been you. I love you, Maeve. I love you. I'm going to close my eyes. How did we go? I don't think I can watch you go. And I wanted to let you know how proud I am of you. So knowing we should leave, but we don't. We watched our love just disappear. I think what I'm trying to say is, thanks for everything. From here. Dickhead.